Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to uh, share any report uh, in Looker Studio and manage user permissions. So to share the report just click the share button in the header and then choose uh, the type of the sharing. Would you like to invite user via email or just copy a link? And uh, let's say at first uh, the types of user roles. So uh, there is a viewer, editor and the owner. I will uh, add the, this short table to the link to the short table to the YouTube video and uh, to the guide so you will be able to understand deeply the difference between uh, these roles. Uh, but by default you should use the viewer and editor and if you work with your team primarily you should use editor. If you work, uh, if you create some custom uh, Looker Studio template and would like to send it to your customer, it's better to use viewer uh, role. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, how to invite user via email, just uh, enter the email. Then I recommend to use the checkbox notify people because uh, if you will use it, the user, invited user, always will have the uh, access to the template because it will have the link on his uh, email account. Yeah, so let's send it. Okay, and let's see how the invitation looks like. Okay, here is the invitation from Booker Studio. I open it and. Uh, it's uh, convenient for me that I will always have the link on uh, in, inside the email, yeah, uh, to get access to the template. Okay, and um, type of the uh, limitations we have here, yeah, it's a restricted report, unlisted and public. Restricted works only when uh, you would like to uh, only invited emails uh, will have the access to the template. Unlisted. Uh, means that uh, anyone on the internet with link can view the report and public is the most dangerous one it's uh, mean that anyone on the internet will uh, with the link with the link can find and view the report so it means that uh, why it's dangerous because uh, uh, Google can index such type of the report and sensitive or some private data from the uh, properties like Google Analytics and so on uh, can be available for all internet users. So uh, usually I use restricted or unlisted types of, uh, of access. And uh, yeah, then if, if you'd like to uh, share the link, uh, share the link, just copy the link. And what's important uh, also to understand is that in settings you can uh, manage the access settings so you can prevent editors from changing the access and adding new people and you can disable download and put in and copy for viewers when uh, uh, to use this checkbox yeah you see that uh, it's um, not active here but i use it um, to create when i create some demo templates for my customers and i would like to show the how template works but i um, don't want to give the ability to copy the template right now yeah until user the, the bought the template so in this case i use this uh, checkbox and user can uh, use the report as he he want but he can't decopy it and um, it's very it's very easy for me to manage the demo template and separately the main template yeah uh, yeah and remember that you also can uh, you can change you can remove the uh, remove the access or for any user and you can change the role from viewer to editor and vice versa so i guess it's all yeah